have a routine every day 5 minutes talk to yourself and tell this convey this don't worry others are not judging you well why you care for others it's okay the lady with the beautiful smile let her think you are an idiot there's one more lady sitting over there she may not think you are an idiot so these things you have to fill into your mind probably for a week two weeks one month two month it needs its own time based on your individuality you know yourself i have problem in my fluency i've tried each and everything but the flow is not coming out of my mouth do you have any tips do you have any working model so that i just pick that up into my routine use it in my routine and work towards it so that i improve my fluency as a result my ielts speaking easily can cross 7.5 or 8 well if you belong to this category and trust me today's video is that video gives you complete insights on how to improve your fluency and as a result your ielts speaking will go up want to make most out of this make sure you watch the video till the end hey everybody this is your from skills ielts really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with at another super awesome power packed video on how to improve your fluency with some five useful techniques so before we get into the video if not subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and any time you need on the assistance it's a paid assistance you can check the information in the description of this video we have left a whatsapp link you can click on the link send us a message i'll be there we will be there to help you guide in the right direction All right. Without further delay, let's straight away get right into the video. The number one technique to work on your fluency is to divide your brain to focus more on the fluency and focus less on the content. I'll speaking. Remember, content has no place in the evaluation criteria. It's the fluency and coherence, vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, content. No, it's not even written. Then why are you going behind? content well you can go behind content if you can still manage and get that flow in the speech but we are not albert einstein we are not stiff knocking correct this may not be you know advanced to that level as a result we will not be able to concentrate on two things some definitely well this video is for those who are struggling with fluency correct once upon a time i was struggling with fluency so now you're speaking as well if you focus on content if you give the 50% of your brain's capacity to focus on the content only 50% is left to focus on the fluency as a result all those things will happen you have to think a lot you're worried whether you're speaking correctly or not whether it's right idea or not and lot many factors associate with it so idea is very simple content like i told you is not even in the radar so just speak whatever you think is right meaning this way you have to focus you have to practice every day 90% of my brain's capacity i gave it to fluency if you decide on that 99% of the problems will vanish here itself that's the first thing the rest 1% of the problem you can overcome by practicing right now i'm just speaking but i'm also focusing on the content because i've experience in this subject but if you give me a new topic to talk about then i will fumble because i'm focusing on the content but if i don't have to focus on the content i can still produce this flow smooth flow of speech so this is the first thing train your brain to divide the brain's capacity into 90s to 10 90% of your brain's capacity give it to focus on the flow and the remaining 10% give it to focus on the content first uh, technique very useful most of the people's problem will be solved at the very beginning while this technique uh, is researched it will definitely help you but even after following this i still have problem the second technique is for you so second technique is to speak slow but in a rhythm well 90% of the people face problem in the fluency because they rush because they've assumed that fluency means to speak fast if i start speaking very slow i think people who listen to me will start laughing listen to any speech from any known personality a political leader or anybody president anybody just observe how they speak they go real slow the idea of communication is to convey the message the idea of communication is not to convey the message very fast unless there is a time bomb kept and someone is threatening you if you don't convey the message within 1 minute that i will you know <laughs> light up this time bomb that is not the scenario anyway so when you go fast you will not be able to speak correctly because the thoughts that in your mind will not be able to connect to the tongue efficiently as a result uh, correct one by one has to come automatically all the thoughts will rush in because you are in a rush you are in a hurry to finish off same thing happens in your ielts speaking as well when examiner at her own composure asks you a question do you have a sweet tooth she is very composed but you are not and you start up uh, uh, actually uh, 
this is what happens for most of the students i have seen myself interviewing on an everyday basis go slow this will not come automatically if you just speak to your mind it may you know like turn it down you have to inculcate every day work towards it tap on it tap on it i'm going to speak slow but i'm going to go in a rhythm right now i am actually speaking very slow but i am going in a rhythm because of this you are not able to feel that i'm speaking very slow i can still speak very very fast and still maintain the rhythm but all i'm asking you is don't do it go slow but go in a rhythm so that it feels to someone that you're speaking at an average speed but actually you are speaking slow you are not going fast but you're going in a rhythm means you're not giving much of the breaks much of the pauses so this is where you can fool anybody into thinking that you're actually going in a proper um you know like um, flow you're not fumbling and your speech is absolutely fine but you're actually speaking very slow and when you slow you buy time and when you buy time the thoughts will easily get into your tongue and tongue will easily twist it and speak when you rush the exact opposite is going to happen be careful well i tried this still my fluency is still not up to the mark i still sometimes hesitate sometimes fumble then technique 3 is for you be patient and let your thoughts flow one by one see this is a way of living it cannot just happen once in a while in the exam every day whenever you talk to people this is what the feel this is what the thing that you should inculcate into your mind i going to be patient and i will make sure i'll make the thoughts from my mind enter the pipe go one after the other one should follow the other one should follow that if you give the thoughts like this when all of them rush see this has intelligence this doesn't have intelligence so this needs to be given one by one this is you know like um, not dual core process a single core small ram is there you have to give one thought and it has to process it then one more thought means channelize the thought this is a process this is the living every day you you know inculcate this in your everyday life this is a lifestyle basically this is what the communication is if you rush if you put all the thoughts at once this go crazy as a result the listener also goes crazy and nobody will tend to listen to you as a result you develop that inferiority complex over the time and most of the things gets added to that idea is stop all these things go slow like i told you in the previous one and third one like i'm telling you be conscious i'm not going to give all the thoughts at once i'm going to run the thoughts i'm going to push the thoughts one after the other well this is the control this is the personality if you're not that kind then you need to change otherwise fluency will not improve see i was that person who used to rush who used to fumble a lot my fluency was not up to the mark at all when i was studying in my engineering and i know the consequences because of that what happened everyone started laughing at me and since everybody laughs what i used to do never open my mouth and there are so many factors associated with it it basically makes the life very uninteresting at the end of the day but this can actually help you out break the barriers and come out victorious this will probably take some time until you realize how to do it it's all about having the control over your thoughts and let it flow one after the other one after the other very very important all right the next fourth tip to work on your fluency is this don't overthink and assume others are going to judge me will this thought is enough to destroy an individual this is the ego well everyone will have ego it's okay have ego it's okay but it should not you know cross the line up till you know the threshold it's totally fine when it crosses that that's where you develop this inferiority complex what if i speak wrong what if that guy in the corner starts laughing at me what if that beautiful lady with a beautiful smile thinks i'm an idiot when this starts what if this examiner thinks i may speak something bad all this negative seeds will become a big banyan tree instantly as a result you will not be confident enough when you are not confident you know what happens entire thing just messes it up all the idea is very simple well this is not as easy as it sounds i wouldn't don't overthink assume don't assume others are judging you well the theory wise it's fine but practicality how to do it well it requires its own discipline every day let's say go to gym every day you eat every day you have a routine this also should come into your routine but in 5 minutes of your day you have to spend on yourself on your thoughts and tend to believe okay others will not judge me whenever i speak others will see me as a good friend when you you know like give at least 5 minutes of your day to yourself 
in this way then the subconscious will learn consciousness is all fine this is the problem because this has already learned something else correct you have to erase it and put something else that erasing and putting a new thing is where people have to put that extra effort it requires requires its own discipline it requires its own commitment dedication and everything so have a routine every day 5 minutes talk to yourself and tell this convey this don't worry others are not judging you well why you care for others it's okay the lady with that beautiful smile let her think you are an idiot there's one more lady sitting over there she may not think you are an idiot so these things you have to fill into your mind probably for a week two weeks one month two month it needs its own time based on your individuality you know yourself but when once this is fixed once this is learned most of the problems will just vanish automatically well i tried all this nagul i know i know all these things still i'm not able to be very fluent the fifth technique will definitely help you so what is that fifth technique read and listen more so when you are a baby you are only crying you are able to only cry make a sound you are never be able to say hi you're like ma you're crying because that's the first sign that's the only thing we knew when we came to earth but then how do we develop this language by listening first thing listening when you listen that's already ingrained in our genes when you listen lot of other abilities emerge one of them is speech that's the reason a person who is deaf will not be able to speak also you may have witnessed this so listen more once you listen more you ought to also read more listening and reading will develop so many other abilities one of them is visualization other is pouring that knowledge when this is filled with knowledge let's say you're talking to a first grade student first standard student you will not be nervous but let's say you are in the middle of a big seminar hosted by stanford university there is that professor 80 year old and someone asks you nakul please get up and ask this question how do you think it would be unless you are very confident if you are not and if you let a negative thought grow oh that guy is 80 year old who is very well versed with all the topics you hold a mic and you're shivering so becoming confident is a key and how do you do that just by curling up on the coffee, sofa and have a coffee and just watch netflix no involve yourself in some good activities man correct useful activities one is to listening to a podcast second is to read 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 these two will do wonders it can do great wonders fluency is just peanut trust me on this listen every day read every day at least one hour dedicate yourself to this automatically all the negative things will just vanish you become confident and once that confidence pitches in you will never look back you will never probably come to this video again to thank me trust me on this all right i think that's all for today this is nakul signing off from skill sides really hope this video was an energy booster have given you uh, everything that you lack before well if you believe the same like share and subscribe and leave your valuable comments in the comment section fine guys with this i'll pack it here thanks much uh, for being a part of this video soon i'll be back till then take care bye bye thanks much